All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something a little different. We're gonna be inside in the kitchen here. It is a rainy, nasty day outside, and uh, I'd rather be inside. <laughs> um, today, we're gonna be making liposomal vitamin C. Um, I had no idea my whole life. I have struggled with a few symptoms um, that I didn't know what they were, um, and I spent a long time trying to figure out what these symptoms are. Unfortunately, it's taken most of my life to figure it out. <laughs> um, I have some things I wrote down here that are very important as to most people are deficient in vitamin C. I, didn't, I had no clue as to how important vitamin C was to our bodies. In fact, without vitamin C, if you were just completely cut off vitamin C, you would eventually die. That's how important it is. So what are the benefits of vitamin C? It is used in collagen production to, and repair. Uh, without collagen um, repair in our bodies, we would fall apart. And that's essentially what vitamin C deficiency is. You're falling apart. Uh, scurvy, okay? Remember hearing stories in the old days, people having scurvy. Uh, they basically, their gums would bleed, the teeth would start falling out, uh, their digestive system would start falling apart. Um, Tendons and ligaments would start, you know, getting weak and, 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 and just your body basically falling apart. And then at the end, you would eventually die if you didn't get vitamin C in you. Uh, if you were to get vitamin C in you, you would start immediately feeling better. So 67 to 90% of the uh, collagen in our bodies is in our cartilage, ligaments, tendons, and it also lowers inf inflammation in our bodies. Um, the rest of the collagen is in our lining of our arteries, um, in our muscle tissue, and it just throughout the body. It, it's, it's, collagen is all throughout our bodies. The reasons for deficiencies is basically our diet. We either, we're either eating too many refined carbohydrates, too much sugar, um, or we're only eating cooked food. You can eat all the veggies you want, but if it's cooked, you're getting no vitamin C. So it's very important because most of our uh, vitamin C comes from fruits and vegetables. So here's a chart of a good sources of vitamin C. The thing about vitamin C is you have to eat it raw. If you cook your vegetables, you will destroy the vitamin C and you will get nothing. Um, also fermented uh, vegetables like sauerkraut has 700 milligrams of vitamin C per cup um, so that's really good so the king daddy of them all is the acerola cherry 100 grams of the acerola cherry has uh, 1680 milligrams of vitamin C and again you have to eat it raw they are subtropical fruit but you can get it in powder also um, symptoms the symptoms most of these I had okay in fact, I think I had every single one. This started for me back when I was in my early teens. Um, so these are all mild cases of scurvy, okay? So red swollen gums, bleeding gums, uh, bleeding nose. If you blow your nose and you see blood in the, and it could be just a little bit of red, that's a symptom. Uh, inflammation of the veins, shortness of breath or air hunger. I had this for sure. I couldn't breathe. I felt like I'd take a deep breath and it just wasn't enough. You know, it wasn't satisfying. I just couldn't get enough air in me. Uh, so that's called air hunger. And uh, I had that. Uh, painful joints, tendons, and ligaments. Uh, when I was working out, um, after about a few months, my, my tendons and ligaments were hurting so bad um, that I, I had to stop. I had to stop and let everything stop and repair. Um, so it is extremely important. I had most of those symptoms. Also, a deficiency in vitamin C causes atherosclerosis. I'm going to say this word: atherosclerosis, um, hardening of the arteries, uh, clog, clogged arteries. So, vitamin C supports the production of collagen in the vascular and smooth muscles, keeping them basically elastic. Okay. That controls your blood pressure too. If your arteries are elastic, like when we were young, um, 
your blood pressure doesn't fluctuate so much. Your veins will just expand a little more, more flexible. Whereas when we get older, they get more calcified, they get stiff and rigid. And if our blood pressure starts to go up, the veins can't expand and your blood pressure skyrockets. And because of the deficiency in vitamin C, your veins are also weak and they could rupture. And if you ever get a lot of bruising, you know, bruising you don't know how you got, I was getting that. I was getting some bruising here. And I'm like, how did I get that? I don't remember hitting anything. Um, that's a vitamin C deficiency. Um, also, people with strokes, uh, as we get older, their arteries become weak and they can't hold the blood pressure anymore and the arteries burst, okay? And uh, if it bursts up in your brain, well, you got problems. Uh, so very important vitamin C. I did not know how important it was. I had no clue I was deficient in it and better late than never catch it now. And it's also always good to be to get some vitamin C in your system um, to improve your health. I cannot tell you how, how much it improved my gums. No more sensitivity to hot and cold. Uh, no more sensitivity when I was brushing. Um, I can breathe better now, I, I feel better, I feel happier. It controls also the serotonin and dopamine in your brain. It just, it's amazing all the, fun, all the things that uh, vitamin C does in our body. So I am out to not only uh, take vitamin C, but I wanna make it myself, okay? Liposomal vitamin C, the body absorbs about 80% of what you take in of liposomal. Whereas this here is uh, ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. But if I was just to take this by itself, if you were to just take regular vitamin C, regular vitamin C is just ascorbic acid, okay? It's all it is. Your body can only absorb 20% of it. And if you take too much, like depending on your body, three, four, five grams or more, uh, your body can only absorb so much. The rest, it starts irritating your lining of your intestines and you just end up uh, with diarrhea, basically. Um, but with liposomal vitamin C, what happens is it gets encapsulated with sunflower lecithin, with his, which is uh, a fat, okay? Um, this fat gets encapsula encapsulates the uh, ascorbic acid, the vitamin C, and it becomes a fat-soluble cell, basically. And this gets transported directly into your bloodstream. When you take it in, rather than going through your digestive system, which is what this would have to do, go through your digestive system, your liver, and process it all and all that, and you only get absorbed maybe 20% into your bloodstream. Liposomal goes directly into your bloodstream and gets, goes directly into your cells. So let me show you how to make this. All right, so to make this, you're gonna need a container, preferably glass, a blender, you're gonna need a measuring cup. This one is a two cup. You're gonna need a good scale that measures in grams and a little container to put the uh, ascorbic acid in. You're gonna need ascorbic acid, of course. And you're gonna need sunflower lecithin for that, preferably organic and non-GMO. Uh, and also a digital ultrasonic cleaner. This one here is a three liter uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is measure out 60 grams of sunflower lecithin. So we're gonna turn on a scale, we're gonna zero this out, this little container here. We got zero, and we're gonna measure out 60 grams of this lecithin. If I can do it without making a mess. Got 23. Ooh, I kind of made a mess, didn't I? 46. 51. Let's see, we'll try a little more. 55. 59. Okay, 60.3, that's close enough. Okay, so we got our 60 grams. 
I am gonna double the recipe because I wanna make about two liters of this stuff. And typically what you, we would do is 60 grams of lecithin, or lecithin, I'm sorry, and 500 milliliters of water. Okay, but we're gonna double it. We're gonna put two of these, so it's 120 grams, and, and one liter of water here. Later, we're gonna do the same thing with the ascorbic acid. So we're gonna put this into the uh, blender. So we'll get our one liter of water and put it into the uh, blender here. And then we're gonna get our sunflower lecithin and put it in there also. And we're gonna measure out, again, another 60 grams and put it in there because we're doubling this, this uh, recipe. Okay, another 60. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, now what we wanna do is run the blender on low Okay, so that's good for now. This has to sit for at least three to four hours, but we'll, we'll do like three hours. Uh, the reason for that is the uh, lecithin and the water have to really, uh, what's the word, emulsify, they have to really mix well together. Um, and you wanna run it on low because you don't want too much air bubbles or suds in there. Um, so we're gonna, let this, we're gonna let this sit for like I said, three hours. You can put this in the fridge if you want. Um, and every half hour or so, just give it a little mix like that. And then after about three hours, we're going to do the uh, ascorbic acid. All right, so now the lecithin has been sitting in the, well, it's been sitting for three hours, basically. I had it in the fridge. Um, we want to just put it on low, kind of mix it up a little bit. And that'll work. Now what we're going to do is mix our ascorbic acid. We're going to turn our scale on and let it zero out with this uh, little cup on there. Okay, it's zero. Now we're gonna take our ascorbic acid and we're gonna measure out 60 grams. Let's see how much I got there. 56, that's pretty close. 59, 60, right on the money. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, this is one liter of water. We're gonna use this as a mixing jar basically. I'm gonna put our water in here, just a little bit. We'll just do that. We're gonna put our 60 grams of ascorbic acid in there. Now we're doubling the recipe. So we're gonna take another 60 grams. 57. Just a little more than three tablespoons. We're gonna put that in there like that. So again, the, the original recipe is 60 grams per 500 milliliters, and then 60 grams of lecithin per 500 milliliters, and you mix them together. So we got our 120 in here now, because we're again, we're doubling the recipe. And what we're gonna do is just mix this up like this. And it shouldn't take that long. We'll just mix it until it becomes clear. 
There. That's pretty clear. It took roughly five minutes. Um, we'll take that off. And now we're going to pour this that's all been dissolved into our uh, one liter of uh, the lecithin. Okay? And we're going to pour the rest of the water in there. If we got room. Do we, will we have room? Yes, we will have room. Just makes it. Okay. Now again, we want to mix this on low. We'll mix this up for a little bit, maybe a minute, and then we're going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. All right, so now I got my ultrasonic cleaner here ready. This is a two liter ultrasonic cleaner. They use it, they use it for jewelry and stuff like that. This thing um, cycles or uh, Way, there's like uh, ultrasonic waves and it's 40,000 hertz that's like cycles that this thing does and what that does well it'll get the fat from the uh, lecithin and it will cover or it'll encapsulate the, uh, the ascorbic acid and that's how you make liposomal now we're gonna pour this well you know what let me uh, let me give it one more little quick stir here all right now we're going to put it into the ultrasonic cleaner All right, so now we can turn the machine on. There's a switch in the back. Now, here are the minutes. We have it set for 30 minutes. This is the actual temperature in Celsius, and this is the temperature you want to set it at. If you wanted to heat the, uh, the liquid up, you can do that. But since we're making vitamin C, we don't want to heat it up. So you best to keep it at the same temperature or less, okay? And... Um, now we just turn the uh, turn it on, and the light will come on, and this will start vibrating or cycling, and uh, that will encapsulate the ascorbic acid and turn it into liposomal. Now, while this is cycling, what you want to do is you want to stir this often. And you don't want to use a metal utensil, you just want to use either plastic or wood.
Okay, it's all done. What I did is I put a half hour's worth in there and then stopped. And I wanted it to go a little bit more because I've heard other people doing it for 45 minutes. So I put another 15 minutes on there, stirring it about every minute or so. Just give it a little stir and let it do its thing. And then about a minute later, keep stirring it. Um, so now we're done. Now the liposomal is ready to be used. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a container and then we're gonna taste, taste it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, shut the machine off in the back, switch, unplug it. Okay, just get the cord out of the way for now. Now, I'm gonna put it in this glass pitcher here. But first I'm gonna put it back in the pitcher, in the blender pitcher, so it'll be easy to pour in the, uh, in the glass pitcher. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Yeah, little mess, not too bad. Okay, don't tell my wife, okay? All right, so we're gonna put it into this glass pitcher. Perfect. Now, a lot, of, a lot of views have noticed that this machine, I said it was a three liter, but it actually holds about two with about maybe three quarters of an inch near the top. I don't think it's gonna hold three liters. And then if it did, it'd be right at the top and you couldn't turn it on, you'd make a mess. Two liters, it holds, it holds perfectly. Okay, we have our uh, two liters of liposomal vitamin C. Remember, this is double the recipe, so I would have made only half. Um, now, this is my little measuring glass here. Uh, it shows here milliliters, tablespoons, ounces, cups, or quarter cups, and things like that. Uh, we're concerned about the milliliters. Now, as far as the strength, I figured it out. I've been watching so many videos, I've read so many things online, I couldn't figure out the potency, or they wouldn't say. So I had to figure it out myself. So I used in here, we're gonna use the original recipe. So that's uh, 60 grams of liposomal vitamin C, 60 grams of uh, sunflower lecithin with, and then you put each one of those in uh, 50, or I'm sorry, 500 milliliters of water. Okay, total one liter, 1,000 milliliters. So 60 grams, of ascorbic acid, which is right here, okay, holds 32 quarter teaspoons, okay? Each quarter teaspoon on here is 1,000 milligrams. So 32 quarter teaspoons in 60 grams is 32,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Now we pour that into a thousand milligrams of water. So we need approximately, we're gonna use 50 milliliter shots. So 50 milliliters or a thousand by, divided by 50 milliliters is 20 shots. You'll get 20 50 milliliter shots in a thousand milliliters. So 20 shots, so if we get that 32,000 milligrams and divide it by 20 shots, it equals each shot would be 1600 milligrams of vitamin C, okay? So then you can adjust it with there. Uh, so if you don't wanna take 50 milligrams, you can take you know half of that or 40 milligrams or whatever. So you, you'll know 50 is 1600, and if you wanna take 25 milligrams, it's gonna be half of that and so on and so forth, okay? So 
I already took my vitamin C, but I'm just going to taste it a little bit. It's very citrusy. Not citrusy as an orange, but it's got a citric acid flavor. <laughs> it's not bad at all. I've, I've seen people saying it tastes horrible. It's not horrible at all. Very, very good. So as far as uh, how much to take, I'm going to be taking my wife and I and my mother-in-law probably a shot in the morning and a shot in the afternoon. And we'll divide it up maybe into smaller shots, maybe three times a day. You know, whatever works best for you. Uh, you don't want to take it all at one time. So right now I'm taking roughly just over three grams of um, 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C, liposomal though. Um, so I'll be taking about that much um, of this also. Now you can take, or I can take, I'm like, I can't tell you what to do. I can take higher dosage for more therapeutic uh, results. Um, but uh, for right now, the 3000 for me is working fantastic. It's working great. Um, no more bloody noses when you blow your nose. No more irritated gums. No more none of that stuff. Um, so important for your arteries. The lining of all your arteries, uh, it's all uh, built up with collagen. And without vitamin C, you can't produce and, and rebuild your collagen. So very important. So guys, I think that's about it. We're going to put this in the fridge. It should last a week to 10 days, roughly. Uh, but try and use it up within a week if you can. Um, you're going to have to figure out how much you need to make um, for, you know, if it's just you or you and your wife or whatever. Um, if you got kids, so you're going to have to figure out, we're going to try this amount. If this is going to be too much, then we'll just end up making one liter, you know. Uh, one thing I want to say here for those of you that notice that I'm, news, I'm not using a non-GMO um, vitamin C. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid in its pure form, which this is, this is just pure ascorbic acid in its chemical form. Um, it says here, does GMO corn or other GMO crops used as source of glucose have any, effects, have any effect on ascorbic acid synthesis from these materials? So what they're concerned about is, is this sourced from GMO corn or non-GMO corn or, or other sources of glucose? The answer is no. The process of synthesizing ascorbic acid removes the materials from the source glucose. Multiple manufacturing steps are needed to isolate and purify ascorbic acid. So there's many processes. Anything that had to do with the GMO is gone. Okay, so there's no genetic material in here. It's completely gone. So if you find a vitamin C ascorbic acid that says non-GMO, it's a bunch of baloney, okay? Because you can't, it's like calling a mineral uh, GMO, non-GMO, you know? So there's no genetic material in there. It's just a mineral. And this here is just pure ascorbic acid. And this was from, uh, let me see here, Linus Pauling, uh, the Oregon State EDU. Um, so don't believe what they say if they, if they advertise it as non-GMO ascorbic acid and it's pricey, don't bother with it. All right, guys, so I guess that is it for this video here. I'm gonna put everything that I have here, except for the blender, of course, but the ascorbic acid and the uh, sunflower lecithin, lecithin, it's a tongue twister for me, um, and this uh, ultra, the uh, ultrasonic cleanser here. Um, I'll put it all in the link in the description under the video. And um, hope you enjoyed the video and learned how to make liposomal vitamin C. Please look, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.